Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard and it is so wet where I am. So I got to walk carefully so I don't slip and fall. This is the 12 by 24 inch pre-primed black canvas and since the thunder is still thundering, I think I'm going to do the briefest possible way of creating some kind of painting. Nice heavy layer in the center of black that will help spread other paint when I tip or flow. And I might spread it all the way out if it'll go, and I'm not going to worry about it if it won't. I say that all the time, you can't believe me. I'm OCD, I need to, <laughs> I need to have paint all over the whole canvas. No matter what I say, it's always a plan. So, instead of pouring paint into a cup and letting it become cohabitated, <laughs> whatever, become joined, I am going to put pa canvas, excuse me, put paint right on the middle of the canvas. It's so wet out here I can leave my spatula and not worry about it. I'd like the bottles, maybe I'll just use the bottles that, that are open. Maybe I'll just shake them up. And use them one at a time. In a most haphazard way. I want that to go down there, over there. I'd like them if they were all open, but I did just run away to get out of a storm. And I'm being brazen by being back at all. I did put all my colors back into the trays I keep. So my idea really is to just put colors down and see what happens. When I tip, because I've wanted to do this so many. That's what it looks like when you don't shake it. That's what it looks like when you do. And I think I'm going to be very brazen today and use some Anita's white metallic. And I might put a little black enamel in there. Although I think the blue, I think it's a Grumbacher blue too. I think the blue is not shaken and also plugged and it's a Prussian blue and if I can I don't know if that's unplugged yet or not I thought it was because it threw a plug out of it looks like I just mixed this up the other day I haven't painted for five days because the humidity has been so intense I thought my, my camera lens would probably fog right up so there, there's quite a few color, quite a few colors here, and I want some of the berry. Why do I want some of the berry? It's an decor Americana berry. I just love the color, and I have seldom, if ever, done exactly this. I want some darker turquoise. I want some turquoise in between the other two tur turquoises. I thought about using the basting brush, so maybe I'll use the basting brush. You know what, at first I want to blow on it and see what happens. Sort of like not a Dutch pour, but sort of like a Dutch pour. Might need a fresh straw. Very accidental stuff going on here. Kind of cool though. I do have good lungs, so if you have a can of air or something. Although I'm getting kind of lightheaded. <laughs> I'm liking what that white did. So, instead of swiping, am I going to swipe? I can try all kinds of stuff.
Well, I'm going to do a few things that are the same, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my basting brush because I can hear that thunder rumbling. And I just did a painting with a lot of nice colors in the center. And after I do this, even though I have some gorgeous cells, I think I might still tilt and take a chance. There's some, actually, there's such nice cells blooming there. They do look like blooms to me. Which just means I can do this another time. And right now, it's for the basting brush. And I may still tilt, and I might still swipe, and I could chain. And so can you. Which reminds me, I do things because I can. And that's the name of my first book that you can find on the Amazon link, link next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. And both of them are under the link tree under the video. Even if you happen to be on Phoenix Rising for Shilabat Cell Art, which is probably not much longer for this world, I think that... I was going to blow directly on that Prussian blue, but I think what I want is a little bit of that Anita's metallic. Now there's nothing to keep me from blowing on anything again and putting some more of that Anita's metallic in there. And I sort of like to waggle the, the basting brush a little bit because it picks up more paint. That's pretty, I like that. That For me, that's stunning. But the basting brush pretty much always works really nicely. I really wanted to spiral some stuff out again. I just did that. And maybe I can just do that with a, uh, with a skewer. Maybe a nice fat skewer with some paint blobbed up on the end and dry. Yes. That's exactly what I like. Right there. But I am just playing... And as long as I can get this undercover before the rain pounds on me again, I'm probably in good shape. I've got something standing by. Oh, I like that gold in there. Maybe a little more white right here. Sort of destroyed my cells, but I also made what looks like a flower. To me, anyway. I could probably make them all flowers. I think I've done that before. I love the spirals. I do. I'm never going to get over it. If you don't like spirals, you're probably watching the wrong channel. So what do I want to do to that? Pretty much nothing. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery thinking I'm going to probably do another painting after this because I really like this one. The torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. And also, we are releasing patterns, making lots of nice little cells. Now, there was a heavy layer of paint, and I used GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixtures so that it won't crack when it dries. It's nice and glossy, and I'm thinking about changing my paint recipe also. <laughs> my painting is steaming from having done that. You don't just need a basting brush. If you don't have a basting brush, just think about using a regular skewer doesn't even have to be a popsicle stick, although it could be. I don't use them, but it doesn't mean that they're not a good idea. Lots of people do. So, by crossing a single strand over here and there, it sort of change up the way your eye is traveling around here. And it's pretty wild, but it's a lot of fun. Because the canvas is black, and the background color was black, means I can drag right down if I want to and it's not going to cause a problem for the most part. Loving the colors in there. I like that one gold spiral and I think I really want another one over here. I don't know if I can keep it but that'll jump the eye back and forth. That's good. Do I want any more? I am loving those cells.
you can also make spirals with the straw, to tell you the truth. That is a Decor Americana 24 karat gold that usually dries really nice and shiny. I love you guys. There's 88,000 of you, or very nearly 88,000 of you. Yes, I did. I just stick my finger in there. I'm allowed to do that. It's my painting. I can do what I want. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've painted for five days, and I'm a little giddy. I'm pretty happy with what I've got here, and I'm thinking about doing one in like neon pink and purple and white and just calling it good because I've got the canvases and I'm ready to rock and roll. So what should I tell you guys? On the link tree, you're going to find Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter links. You're also going to find Facebook groups, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation for students, Expression to Start Studio Totes and more for people who want to shop, my fineartamericanpixels.com, which are also on the link tree, so no big deal. That's a Facebook group with stuff from, you know, a long time back and not just from pixels.com. Anywhere where I have a blob, I might just contemplate spiraling it out. Love those spirals! I love you guys, too. I hope you keep coming. Look on my channel for playlists, and I have over 1,400 videos. And you're bound to find something that you'd like there. I don't seem to have complete coverage on that canvas right there, but I don't think I really care right now. As long as I can stick my finger in it. Um, okay, so please give me a thumbs up. If you watch longer, it helps me out. When you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Appreciate the donations that help keep, keep, keep me painting all this time. And if you want to be a, uh, somebody who helps support the studio and you make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, whose icons are on my channel header and also under the link tree, you will be entered in the monthly contest. And you can see it's not a contest. It's a drawing. Just a drawing. <laughs> and there's usually a few, four, five, six, whatever. There's usually paintings there that you can choose from if your name is drawn. Yes, I see that's too much coppery color there for me without adding something else. Excellent. I'm happy with that. So on the end screens of any video, you can see the exhibition video, and the exhibition video will share with you what the prizes are on that monthly drawing. I gotta stop sticking my fingers in there. It's <laughs> compulsive. Um, Thank you for the wonderful comments you would leave me all the time. You cheer me up endlessly. I appreciate your, your morale-boosting love, and I love you guys so much. So you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Trying not to spiral out of control. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> Never mind. Okay. I'll be back soon for another, with another video. And... Uh, I'll answer your questions if you have them. Bye for now. Priscilla out. See you soon. Hopefully.